We are going to touch on parenting one column to another column that will act as a peg, something you can see in the X sheet and you'll be able to easily select and do what you need to do with. And then we'll run through baking those animations into the drawings in the level strip. Let's pretend for a second that the column this little guy is on has animation on it already. It's got a bunch of keyframes and position, rotation, and scale. And I would like to go through and tweak a little thing here and there, but I don't want to change every keyframe. By parenting this column to a peg, we're calling it a peg, but you could really write whatever is relevant to what you you happen to be doing right arm, left arm, torso, that sort of thing. You get the idea. This allows us to uh, add additional animation to the already existing animation. So now that we have two columns, one with our animation and one acting as a peg for our animation column, we're going to use the skeleton tool and build skeleton mode. It's uh, this little guy down here. We're just going to drag and connect, and that's all you really need to do to parent. I love the ability to set up a rigging hierarchy visually without having to go into the schematic window. In an animation mode, the skeleton tool pretty much does it all, man. It lets you rotate, it lets you move position, it lets you move the center of a column on the fly. It pretty much does everything the edit tool does with the exception of scaling and adjusting stacking orders. If the skeleton tool did those two things, the edit tool would pretty much be obsolete when it comes to um, cutout animation. But I digress. Now that we have have our peg column adding just a little bit of extra movement to our animation. We'll run through baking that movement back into the level strip. Start out by creating a new level that is the same as your original level. In this case it was raster, but it could be vector if that's what you happen to need. And then be sure that the frames you're adding matches the duration of the animation that you're going to be baking. The merge level function is what we're going to be using to do this, and basically what it does is it takes selected levels and copies the drawings onto the level farthest to the left. So we want to have our newly created level with blank frames all the way to the left. We want to select those two columns and from the X sheet drop down menu select merge levels. That's it. You're done. I typically use this when I want to disconnect a column from a hierarchy but I still want the movement. You know what I'm saying? Like if I want to pull something out of an X sheet and put it into something else but I still want that movement this will get that job done by baking the animation right into the drawings.